Piacere. In this lesson you will learn to use the verb piacere. Piacere is one of the most common and useful verbs in Italian, yet it is one of the more challenging verbs for English speakers to use correctly. The reason this verb proposes a challenge is that the English speaking mind wants to use the verb as we would use to like in English. However, there is no direct translation for to like in Italian. Instead of liking things, an active gesture, Italians are pleased by things, a passive gesture. While English speakers like tiramisu, Italian speakers are pleased by tiramisu. Mi piace il tiramisu. To begin, let's take a look at how the verb piacere is conjugated in the present tense. Piacere is an irregular verb. Piaccio, piaci, piace, piacciamo, piacete, piacciono. Piacere is used primarily with the third person forms piace and piacciono. Piacere is usually used with the indirect object pronouns mi, ti, gli, le, le, ci, vi, gli. The indirect object pronoun refers to who is being pleased while the verb itself refers to who or what is pleasing. Mi piace la pizza, pero non mi piace la carne. Mi piacciono tutte le verdure. Mi piace mangiare. Ti piace la pizza? Ti piace la carne? Ti piacciono le verdure? Ti piace mangiare? I like pizza, but I don't like meat. I like all vegetables. I like to eat. Literally, pizza pleases me, but meat does not. All vegetables please me. Eating pleases me. Do you like pizza? Do you like meat? Do you like vegetables? Do you like to eat? Notice that in the second series of examples, the verb does not change form as the subject or that which is pleasing or not pleasing does not change. However, the indirect object pronoun changes from me to ti, as the person being pleased has changed from me to you. We could similarly ask a group of people, vi piace la pizza? The verb would stay in the third person singular, piace, as it corresponds to pizza. But V would be our new recipient. You guys, do you guys like pizza? Vi piace la pizza? Or we could ask about a group of people. Gli piace la pizza? Do they like pizza? Notice that when piacere is used with a verb, with a verb as the subject, like mangiare, ti piace mangiare, the third person singular form is used. Piace. Mi piace mangiare. Piacere can be conjugated in any tense using the same structure we saw in the previous slide. To use piacere in the passato prossimo, you always use the auxiliary, auxiliary verb essere instead of avere. Mi è piaciuta, mi è piaciuta tanto la pizza che ha fatto mia suocera. Non mi sono piaciuti gli gnocchi che abbiamo mangiato. Notice that piacere has to agree with the subject, that which is pleasing, as is always true for past participles used with essere in the passato prossimo. Piaciuta, feminine singular, agrees with the subject, pizza. Piaciuti in the second sentence is masculine in plural and agrees with the subject, gnocchi. I hope you have found this lesson useful and I look forward to seeing you for future lessons. Ciao, a presto!